Hey, my name's Dustin. I'm here to talk to you about Slice Pop, a brand new split screen plugin. It's pretty dope. Let me run you through a little bit. So right here I have three clips and uh, you know what? They look a lot better if they're all kind of like grooving together in a split screen. So what I'm going to do is come over here to my three selections and uh, I like this left large. So what you can do is you can stack your clips and just bring the left large over from the effects browser onto your clip and it should automatically uh, put everything where it needs to be. So what you're going to want to do once it's there is select each clip individually and select the zone you want it to go into. So I want this first one in let's see zone 2. So it's going to go over there. I want this one in zone 1 and already picked it up. But you see I do have a problem with this one picture. Let me bring it over to its side here. Let's undo the effect. Since it's a different aspect ratio on a 16 by 9 project, you're going to want to make that a compound clip. So this new compound clip, I'm going to rename it Cappy. And now you can add the effect and it'll be perfect. See how it automatically does everything? It's just, that's just a little tip for future use there. I'm going to drag it on top. I'm going to bring it over here. And you know what? I want that picture in zone 3. There you go. And once everything's there, you can select them all at the same time if you want to and use the on-screen controls to get them exactly where you want them. Look at just the way you want it to look. So I want these guinea pigs over here. Look at that. Look at these capybaras. They're adorable. I like them too. We got this little capybara with eagle on top. Was that a... That's some kind of bird of prey. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. So let's go through the publish parameters really quick. So you can turn on the build-in, build-out animations. You got the zone selection right here. You can change the color of the lines. You see how the line changes color there? Pretty nice. You also change the width of the line and the opacity. You also change the positions right here as well. Rotation, okay. You can also use the on-screen controls for all this stuff. The size, whoop, big old cappy pair. And we also have dual tone effects, which is pretty cool. So you can kind of make it like black and white or different colors. Add a little colored effect. Uh, you can change the feathering of it. So you can see how it comes up a little bit up here. That goes a little bit better when uh, the opacity of the lines is down. You can also make it move once it's in there. So you adjust this and you give a little movement to the clip. And if you see over the length of the clip, the capybara moves. right? So like that's good if you have pictures and you don't actually have any movement in there. And there you have it. And since there are effects, you maintain the sound from the clips as well. So it's pretty awesome. So all the sounds coming through from both the bottom clips. And you know, you can do whatever you like with those. You can mute those if you want to. And since their effects is also, you can use the um, retiming tool and just get that clip exactly where you want to. You see, like, okay, I want this a second more. And no, no drop zones. So no freezing clips, no audio out of sync. Everything's gonna be just the way you want it to. And that's about the gist of it. You can take those principles and use it with any one of the 30 plus templates and just go to town. Be creative. Can't wait to see what you make. Thanks for your purchase and have a fantastic day.